Hello good viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to find a solution to this interesting trigonometric equation. We want to find that angle theta that can satisfy the equation cosine theta equal to 2. But wait, there's a big problem because we know that cosine of any angle is between 1 and what? Negative 1. It can never go beyond negative 1 and 1. But this is 2 which means that this equation has no solution in the set of real numbers. So if it has no solution in the set of real numbers, what about in the set of complex numbers? That's exactly where we're going to dive into. And another way you can confirm whether this equation has no real solution is by graphing. We can graph the left hand side and graph the right hand side and see whether we're going to have an intersection. So suppose we have y axis and this is x axis we have one we have two here we have negative one we have negative two down here the graph of cosine theta looks somehow like this somehow like this right the highest it can attain is positive one and the least is what negative one then the right hand side is two which is a horizontal line horizontal line you see that this graph and this graph will never intersect because this one will turn down eventually takes off between one and negative one so this line continues like this they will never intersect so if there is no intersection let us look at the solution in the set of complex numbers um, we are going to use Euler's formula to establish cosine theta remember Euler's formula stated that if you have e to the i theta is equal to what cosine theta plus i sine theta let's call this equation number one and secondly e to the negative i theta is equal to what cosine of negative theta plus i sine of negative theta right and we know that cosine is an even function therefore taking cosine of negative angle is the same thing as taking cosine of positive angle so e to the negative i theta is the same thing as cosine of the positive angle theta then this is an odd function it is the same thing as what negative i sine of what positive angle theta let me call this one equation number two now let us um, add equation 1 and equation 2 together. So we can see equation 1 plus equation number 2 together. From the left hand side of equation 1 we have e to the i theta and we have e to the negative i theta. Let us add them together. e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta. This is equal to, to the right hand side we have cosine theta plus cosine theta which is going to give us what? 2 cosine theta. But observe this and this if added together we're going to get 0. So let's stop here. Remember we want to establish uh, cosine theta therefore we can divide both sides by 2. Hence cosine theta is equal to e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta divided by 2 is very important equation we can call it equation number 3 now we are going to relate this equation number 3 with what we have initially we have cosine theta to be equal to 2 and now we have cosine theta to be equal to the whole of this which means we can equate their right hand side this implies that e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta divide by 2 is equal to 2 by cross multiplication we have e to the i theta plus e to the negative i theta is equal to 2 times 2 which is equal to 4 wow now let us multiply both sides by e to the i theta why because i want to get rid of this negative uh, i theta this time this will give us what e to the uh, 2 i theta according to one of the laws of indices 
you take a base, you add the exponent, this and this together, we have two quantities. Then this time, this will give us one because the exponents, if added together, you get zero and e to the zero is one. So we have plus one here and this is equal to four times e to the i theta. Let us bring this one inside. This will give us what e to the i theta whole squared minus 4 e to the i theta. We are establishing a quadratic equation in terms of what e to the i theta. Um, we can just assume that this is a single variable just like x. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 1 which is a quadratic equation. We don't have to do any kind of substitution. And, and we can solve this by completing the square method. Half of negative 4 is negative 2. And negative 2 squared is 4. So we want to make sure that this number right here is 4 before we could say this is a perfect squared quadratic expression. And to make 1 equal to 4, we have to add 3 to both sides. So we have to the left hand side e to the i theta all squared minus 4 e to the i theta plus 4. Because I have added 3 to make this 4, I have to add 3 to the other side to make the equation balance. So the left hand side is now a perfect squared quadratic uh, expression, which can be factorized as e to the i theta minus half of the coefficient of the middle term, which is going to give us 2 whole squared. And this is equal to what? 3 to the other side. Now we can take square root of both sides. e to the i theta minus 2 to the left equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. Then we can now take um, negative 2 to the other side. We have e to the i theta equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. But wait, remember our main goal is to find theta. Hence, we can take natural log of both sides. So if you take natural log of the left-hand side, ln e to the i theta, you equally do the same thing to the other side, ln of what? 2 plus or minus square root of 3. You know, according to one of the laws of logarithm, this power can drop down to multiply. So we have i theta down ln e equal to ln of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. And ln e is 1 because it is a log to base e. A log of any number having the same base as the number will give us 1. So we have i theta equals ln 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. Then we can multiply both sides by i. If you multiply the left hand side by i, we have i times i. I know is what i squared and i squared is negative 1 times theta. This is equal to i multiplied by ln of 2 plus or minus the square root of 30. We are almost done. This will give us negative 1 and we can divide both sides by that negative 1. So we have theta equal to negative i times what ln of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. So theta is nothing but negative i times ln of 2 plus or minus square root of 3. But remember, if you take cosine of an angle, whatever the result you get, by adding multiples of 360 degrees, you will still obtain other solutions. Therefore, the general solution, theta is equal to minus i, natural log of 2 plus or minus square root of 3 plus multiples of 2 pi. 2 pi is 360 degrees, remember, times k, for which k is an integer. It could be negative or positive. Let me write it here. k is an integer. So this is just the solution to this problem in the complex world. If you like, you can separate it because we have plus and also minus but I prefer to leave it like this. So this is the general solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.